How's it going guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I have four of the basher science card games to open and review each of them comes with a small collectible figure and it features cards that you can play two games in one so I have the chemistry set which comes with liquid the rocks and minerals which comes with pyrite the astronomy I'm really excited about that one that one looks so cool it comes with the supernova figure and then I also have biology which comes with the heart so lots of cool stuff these are made by the makers of UNO, so let's get started. First up, let's start with the chemistry set. So it says that there is a battle game and then a memory game, which the match game thing, that's awesome. And it's almost like uh, flashcards where you can quiz yourself as you memorize them. I think that's so cool. Love educational games and toys. So it comes with a set of directions. Oh, as well as all the figures in the checklist. That's cool. So here's that. So it comes with a very cool figure of a liquid. Like how he's dripping. He's wearing some shades and a beret. <laughs> so very awesome. And he is translucent. It comes with two little flipping coins. Heads and tails. Just in case some cards if you play the battle game may require you to flip a coin. And then you get your set of cards, you get two each. So first we have Element. There are 118 unique versions of me. So I like how it tells you about the, the chemistry aspect of Elements. And then this part is the battle game. That's the directions and value of your card. Um, and I'll try to do one of those. So you get Element, we have a boiling point. I like his little face. I wish they made figures for all of these. Um, that would be awesome. Maybe one day. So when liquid boils into gas, that's me. You've reached the boiling point. Number three is the melting point. Oh, that's cool. They have a microphone or something there. Um, I am there when a solid turns into goo. Nice. The catalyst. Oh, that's an interesting one. I decrease the activation energy of a reaction. Awesome. The giant molecule, and he looks awesome. I have a huge number of bonds. Activation energy, more of me means more energy for a reaction. He looks pretty cool. Chemical reaction, I mix things up to make one substance change into another. Ah, he has like a little chef's hat. A lot of these pictures, and I've seen in the books as well, they have things on the figure that really help you memorize what they actually do. So again, I think that's a great learning strategy. Polymer, I am multi-purpose and many plastics are made from me. <laughs> Very cool, he has a little recycled bottle, some headphones, plastic bag, nice. Smart materials, we are futuristic and new with amazing properties. Periodic table, I am an elegant way to organize all the elements. Very cool. pH, I measure how acidic or base a solution is. <laughs> He's on like a stationary bike. That's pretty funny. And then you get little scorecards. Okay, to play the battle game, let's say you have two players. So we'll play against Liquid. I'll deal Liquid a card, I'll deal me a card, and you flip them over at once, and then you look at the directions here. So he has a three, which is melting point. And it says the lowest number wins this round. And then I drew a two, which means I have the lowest number, but it says I would have to add two to my card if the opponent's card is even. Fortunately, his card is a three, which is odd, which means I win. If his card was even, I would add two more points and notice I would have four and they could have won. So that's pretty cool. And you would do like six rounds of that or however many rounds you wanna play. There's six on the card and you can even use your little markers for winning the round. So that's pretty cool. And then of course they all have the same backing. So you can do, oopsie, sorry, liquid. You can do a larger matching game, which I'm assuming they all have the same backing. So my goal is to blend all of the decks together to have a big old science memory game. That would be awesome. Next up, let's open the rocks and mineral set. I absolutely love the pyrite figure. He looks like he's wearing a little court gesture hat because he is full of gold. So they have such a neat touch with their, their items and stories and everything else. So it looks like we get the same uh, packet there. So this has the red, but I think on the back will be uh, the same backing. You also get the flipping coins. This one has red as well. 
And then you have the adorable little pyrite. Okay, that was a struggle, but here is the adorable little pyrite. He has blushy cheeks, the court gesture, fool's gold hat, awesome figure. And these are just like a hard plastic figure. And then we have two little scorecards, so they're red. Oh, cool, the backing is the same color. So that way, um, yep, you can blend all the series together to make a jumbo science match game. And what I realize now is that each card has something different it says. So I didn't read that for chemistry. Um, I will read it for the rocks and minerals. I'm fascinated by these. And I apologize if I mispronounce anything, I'm gonna try. Try my best. So first we have diorite. I am related to granite and sometimes called a black granite. And I like how he has the little Egyptian hieroglyphs um, there. That's what the diorite is what they use to carve on. I am a black and mottled igneous rock with coarse grains. Number two, tough. Found on crater walls. I am made of hot ash flakes and welded together. I am blasted out of a volcano during an eruption. That's so neat. I wish they made a figure of him. Slate. I am a low-grade metamorphic rock that splits to produce flat surfaces. Slates often used to make a roofing. I come in many surprising colors, including green and purple, which you can see on his little feet. Green, purple. So cool. Marble. I am a metamorphosed limestone that comes in many colors. He's wearing a toga. My name comes from the Greek word for stone. Oh, I didn't know that. Marble, stone. Sulfur. <laughs> he has horns. I'm a stinky element from volcanic zones. When I combine with oxygen, I can cause acid rain. He's holding a match. Ooh, arsenic. You're poison. I have a strong smell of garlic when heated or hit with a hammer. I was once the favorite poison of kings. <laughs> Yikes. I like his little mask. He has a little dark history going on. Oh, cool, Jade. That's beautiful. I am a gorgeous green gem honored in ancient China. I am found in metamorphic schist. That almost looks like a, a dragon. Very cool. Eight, topaz. I am a hard mineral found in acid igneous rock. Or rocks. And then colorful varieties of me are used as gemstones. Flint. Oh, he's cool. <laughs> I am found in strange nodules and concretions. I am made of silica and develop in limestone as it hardens. Oopsies. Number four, serpentine or serpentine? Probably serpentine. How cute is he? Okay, I am mostly found in highly altered metamorphic zones. In water, I am known to invade minerals and change their structures. And notice he's invading that mineral there. Very cool. And then number eight is feldspar. I am the family name that makes up 60% of Earth's crust. Huh. And then the moon rock, anothrosite, belongs to me. Very cool. So that's really, really cool. I love rocks and minerals and geology. So now let's open our awesome astronomy. I think this is the newest series. I hope they do more. I've always been fascinated with astronomy. You have supernova there and I can't wait to see the other cards. I do have the Bachelor of Science Astronomy book as well as the rocks and minerals one. I definitely want to pick up more as well. So let's open this guy up. You get the same set of directions, but on back you get a look at the full series two astronomy figures. That's awesome. I love those. <laughs> look at that fun guy. So there's the series one where the chemistry, uh, biology, and rock minerals and astronomy is part of series two. You also get your little coins. Purple is the color for the astronomy uh, series. And then we have the supernova. How cool is he? He has a little squiggly, angry face. His arms are in the air and he is about to explode or go supernova. He also has a clear quality to him. That is so neat. Oh, I love that guy. Awesome. You have your scorecards, which again are double-sided. You can either play the short four rounds or the longer six rounds. So that's cool. And then our cards, number one is the sun. They're very important to us. I'm a yellow dwarf star halfway through a 10 billion year life. I'm a ball of gas burning inside at 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Mercury, oh, I like the ears and the messenger delivering letter. My surface is rocky and pitted with impact craters. I stay close to the sun and am best seen around dusk or dawn. 
Venus, I appear just before sunrise or just after sunset. I am the most radiant object in the night sky after the moon. You're supposed to be able to see Venus with your bare eye. Okay, Earth, aw. I spin fast on my axis, and because I tilt, I have seasons, which is awesome. If you look closely, there is like a little dog, a person, a child. That's awesome. I'm about 4.6 billion years old. Water covers 71% of me. Mars, I have a reddish inflamed look given to me by iron minerals. The warrior. Water once flowed over my rocky surface, but not any longer. Saturn, oh, that one looks cute. My gases are so spread out that I'd float in water. I have rings made of dust and boulders of ice and rock. Jupiter, oh, that's a cool one. I hope they make these figures. He even has the red spot. <laughs> I am the biggest planet made almost entirely of hydrogen gas. I spin rapidly and have a big storm called the Great Red Spot. Neptune. Oh, the little trident there. I am the farthest true planet from the sun and have a blue hue. I am an ice cold giant with very chilly cloud top temperatures. Mars rovers. We are twin robots with a mission to rove across the red planet. Oh, that's cute. Um, we are robot geologists who have photographed and tested rocks. The Hubble Space Telescope. I focus on a tiny blip of light millions of light years away. I have taken snapshots of the first galaxies in deepest space. That is so cool. Uranus. I roll around the sun on my side and they slanted the head. That I thought that was so cool when I learned about the planets that Uranus is on its side as it rotates. So accurate depiction. And then my poles take turns facing away from the sun. So that is super cool. It makes them into cute little characters. Again, fun to memorize. And then our last card game is the biology one. Look at how cute the elephant looks. <laughs> so we have our little tokens. Green represents biology. We have the heart figure. Very cool. The little arms and legs, our little valves and stuff. That's really neat. Oh, I'm not sure if he'll stand. <laughs> we'll lay him down. So you have your scorecards and it starts with the nervous system. <laughs> that looks interesting. I am a sensitive guy who feels your pain. Very nice. I am a whole body network that reacts faster than lightning. Lungs. We are a pair of bags located on both sides of your chest. We suck in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Ooh, intestines. <laughs> I am a long tube that snakes through your middle. I move food along with muscular jerks and spasms. Red blood cell. I am a round cell with no nucleus, but I am full of iron. I am busy carrying oxygen around your body. T cell. I'm a white blood cell and part of your immune system. I keep you healthy by recognizing and killing invaders. And notice he's wearing like a little military helmet um, because he's a fighter. That's awesome. Seedless plants. We are ancient plants that spread to new areas using spores. We are the first kinds of plants to live on land. Very cool. I did not know that. Flowering plants. We have been the main plants on earth for 130 million years. That is beautiful. We bring flowers, pollen, and fruit into the world. Protists. We are living things whose bodies have only one cell. <laughs> We are neither plants nor animals, but something in between. Ooh, interesting. Oh, mammals. That's an adorable elephant. <laughs> Little pile <laughs> there. We are fur-covered animals that feed our babies with milk. Almost one half of our known species belong to the rodent family. Yikes. Reptiles. Oh, that's a cute alligator and snakey. We are a sun-loving species that includes lizards, snakes, and turtles. Most of us hatch from eggs with soft waterproof shells. And our last ones are invertebrates. We are animals without backbones. We were the first animals to evolve more than 650 million years ago. Super cool. So there you have the four card games available from Basher Science. Do let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. 
As for me, I think I'm going to go with astronomy. I love the subject, the cards are cool, and the supernova figure is awesome. Although I really do like geology, chemistry, and biology, probably in that order. <laughs> so awesome stuff. I absolutely love educational toys, and I think Basher Science does an awesome job with their figures, their games, and their books. So there you have it. Please like and subscribe to see more of my daily videos. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.